Greetings, everyone. Uh, I'm Andrea Kanjian. I'm the member of provincial parliament for Barry Innisfil. And these announcements are the most exciting and my favorite uh, because we have a growing community with growing needs. And this government wants to get it done with core infrastructure projects. And while we're repairing many roads, and as we're in the city of Barrie and they're repairing their own fair share of roads, we also need to build our school infrastructure. Uh, and so today, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about building up Ontario, ensuring that we're building more schools for the next generation of students, but also the current generation of students who either want a little bit more room in their school um, or want to get out of um, uh, a portable uh, and into a classroom. And certainly, I think in Simcoe County, it will also help us attract more teachers as well. We have a great community to raise our children in, a great uh, community for families, a great community to work in. And, and certainly, if we have more schools, we can attract more of that great, talented workforce uh, that are teachers who are on the front lines of teaching the next generation. But that couldn't be possible without our school boards, our superintendents, and the folks behind the scenes that help so many of these projects happen. Um, so today, the Ontario government investment, which couldn't happen with all of our partners, we're investing six, uh, $64.3 million in the Simcoe County District School Board for two new schools and a significant addition to a school. Thank you, thank you. And this will support the creation of 1,695 new student spaces as part of our government's commitment to build state-of-the-art learning spaces for Ontario students. And this really speaks to the growth that we're investing, whether it's teaching science, technology, engineering, mathematics. As much as we make the core curriculum changes, it wouldn't be possible without having the core bricks and mortars that we need, which is our classrooms. So today I'm excited to announce a brand new school in Innisfil, a Kona Elementary School, along with the, an addition to Nantire Shores Secondary School and what will be behind us, a brand new school in Barrie, Barrie Southeast Number One Elementary School, which will probably have a different name at some point, but at the current moment, that is the name. Um, but that will be what you see behind us. So this is right now a field of dreams, as they say, and then soon it'll be full of uh, great, beautiful minds and the next generation of students. Uh, these projects that I just uh, spoke about recently, they're part of an overall $1.3 billion investment to support new school construction, expansion, and schools including childcare spaces across our province as part of a capital priorities program. So this is very much needed. I know in my area I uh, is very excited about these announcements and certainly we will be asking and trying to do more uh, because as our community grows we need a few more of these schools for sure. Um, but I wanted to welcome up someone that uh, this project wouldn't be possible with. Uh, it's the team from the uh, Simcoe County uh, District School Board Board Chair Brandy Raffet who will be saying a few words. Board Trustee Brandy Raffet who will be saying a few words on behalf of the chair. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brandi Rafik, and I'm a trustee with the Simcoe County District School Board. Unfortunately, the trustees for these areas, Trustee Armstrong and Trustee Wilson, were unable to join us today due to previous commitments, but they've asked me to relay their gratitude and excitement for today's announcements. As vice chair of the Simcoe County District School Board of Trustees, I'm so pleased to join you for this important announcement. This is amazing news for our communities. These two new schools, in addition, are urgently needed to accommodate the tremendous growth that has been happening happening in Barrie and Innisfil, which is projected to continue for the foreseeable future. These schools and the addition will accommodate students in their immediate communities and beyond and help relieve the pressures at other area schools. There are incredible things happening in our schools every day. We have so many hardworking staff members within our schools and they are always focused on student success. However, our schools in the area are well over capacity and this brings with it numerous ongoing challenges. I want to thank MPP Kanjan for her support in making today's three exciting new builds a reality. Collaboration among various levels of government is crucial to meeting the needs of residents and we greatly appreciate her advocacy and efforts. The new school here in Southeast Ferry will be open to students for September 2027 and will accommodate 662 students. The over 63,000 square foot three-story energy efficient building will be designed based on Trillium Woods Elementary School in Southwest Ferry. The school will host five kindergarten rooms each with their own separate entrance coat room and washroom. The new school in Innisville will open in the fall of 2026 and will accommodate 619 students. The over 57,000 square foot two-story energy efficient building will be designed based on Lake Simcoe's public school in, uh, in Innisville. This school will host six kindergarten rooms, also each with their own separate entrance, coat room and washroom. 
Right. <laughs> Most schools will have an outdoor kindergarten and primary play area with elements such as an art wall, music center, and wood stage for play-based learning. The outdoor spaces will also provide students with hard surfaces and grass play fields. The buildings will offer, will offer connections to the neighboring communities to promote active transportation. With their imaginative libraries that will include a separate builder tech makerspace and the gymnasiums with change rooms and, and an additional multi-purpose room, the schools will not only be a facility for students and their education, but will be another facility in the neighborhood that will be available for community user groups after hours and weekend permits. The over 26,000 square foot addition to Nantire Secondary School in Innisfil is slated to be completed by the winter of 27, 2027 and will offer room to four more Four, sorry, 414 more students, bringing its capacity to 1,605 students total. The two-story addition will be home to 17 new classrooms, plus two science classrooms, workrooms, and additional washrooms. Our school buildings where our students and staff spend their days are so much more than their physical spaces, and I look forward to seeing these buildings evolve into community hubs where our residents can come together for many years to come. I would be remiss if I did not thank some of the many important people who have got us to here to this announcement today. A sincere thank you to the incredible staff at the SCDSB who worked hard to build these strong business cases to present to the province these shovel-ready, extremely needed projects. Many current and past school board trustees have advocated to have these areas identified as priority needs within our board. The City of Barrie and the Town of Innisfil's dedication to working together with the school board has surely helped get us to this fantastic point that we are ready to start building these new beautiful schools for our growing communities. Thank you to everyone for joining us and celebrating with us today. Thank you, uh, thank you Brandy for those great, great remarks. As she mentioned, we can't do it without our counterparts at the city uh, and municipal level. So I want to welcome up uh, Lynn Dolan who represents a great, uh, beautiful community of Innisfil and they're really embracing smart growth and I'm just always thrilled to work with her and see all the great projects that her and her council are championing. So I'll welcome her up next and then followed by Mayor Nettle. Thank you so much, MPP Kanjan, Minister Kanjan, and thank you so much. I know that schools are in need all over the province of Ontario, and I know it takes a lot of advocacy and push to get investment in your community, so we really appreciate all the effort that you take to make sure the investment comes to Innisfil and Barry. so thank you for that. Thank you also to the school board, staff, and trustees who work very hard. I could tell from your comments all the thought that's been put into these designs. I was also very impressed with the fact that you're using current successful designs and duplicating them because that means less money for architects and papers and planning and more money for actually shovels in the ground. So, so thank you for that. Innisfil is a growing and a thriving community and we really appreciate the investment. And it is an investment, an investment in our kids is an investment in our communities. And I just really enjoy uh, watching the kids, uh, either when they're walking to or going from school, the excitement in the community, and I enjoy seeing that uh, the young families that are choosing Innisfil as their home. And I know part of the reason they're doing that is because it's a complete community. Complete communities are more than just houses. They're libraries, they're skating rinks, they're good schools all of the other things that go with it, healthcare, but that's for another day. Uh, but we'll keep building these complete communities. And uh, finally, I just wanted to say that uh, we also really appreciate all of the time and effort it takes to, to work with uh, our staff and making something that's gonna work uh, for our community and also for the people and the school boards and the employees and everybody that's there. So thank you so much. And I'll welcome Mayor Nettle. I'll be uh, really, really quick because I'm now late for my daughter's gymnastics and I will uh, we'll definitely hear that later on. But uh, I just want to say on behalf of the City of Bay Area, this is a, an area that needs uh, this type of uh, educational investment. Uh, when you look around the neighborhood, uh, you're driving in the area, there are uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children uh, that, that live here right now. And if you just look a little bit over to my left, you'll see the hundreds if not thousands of children that are going to be, uh, if not already living there, 
uh, will be living there over the next little while. The amount of growth that's taking place in this area, it is, uh, it is hard to keep up with. And uh, the fact that our, our provincial government, our school board is uh, making this a priority to move forward with, uh, we, we couldn't be happier. So uh, to the folks uh, the school board, thank you uh, for uh, putting together uh, the business case that made sense, for working with our staff uh, so, uh, so well. And, and certainly to Minister Kanjan, uh, all of the work that you do on behalf of all of our communities, uh, whether it's in the various communities across Innisfil or the city of Barrie, uh, it, is, uh, it is truly a, a testament to your uh, hard work and on our behalf uh, that, we're, we're <laughs> <laughs> that we're here today. And um, yes, yeah, maybe your kids are going to be going to these schools. You never know. You never know. Uh, the, the final I'd like to leave you with is that I think that um, what, what you see at every announcement, and, and we had an announcement earlier, is that there's all levels of government working together. We're really trying to work even on the municipal with the school boards. The school boards have been, been incredible over the last uh, years. We've uh, struck partnerships for children actually in this area as well. And uh, so I just want to take that last opportunity to say thank you.